so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. In this problem, we're given three relations in the form of tables, as we see here below. And we're asked to determine which tables are one-to-one -one functions. To test to see if a relation is a one-to-one -one function, we first have to test to see if it's a function, and then test to see if it's a one-to-one -one function. So let's review both definitions. A function is a relation in which every input has exactly one output. Remember, the inputs are the x values, or the domain, and the outputs are the y values of the range. An easier way to think of this is, a relation is a function if every x has exactly one corresponding y value. So once we know a relation is a function, we can then test to see if it's a one-to-one -one function. A one-to-one -one function is a function in which each input has one unique output. Again, an easier way to think of this is, a function is one-to-one -one if every y has exactly one corresponding x. So looking at our tables, we first want to determine if they're functions and then if they're one-to-one -one functions. If they're not functions, they can't be one-to-one -one functions. After you do this a while, you can probably answer these questions leaving it in the table format, but when first learning how to do this, I think mapping the table makes it a lot easier. So let's look at this first table on the next slide. To map this relation, we're going to place the set of x values or inputs here and the set of y values or outputs here and then map the relation. So looking at the x values, we have three unique x values. We have negative four, negative two, and positive one. Even though one occurs twice, we only list it once. These are the unique x values. And then for the y values, we have three, five, and nine. And again, notice how three occurs twice. And now to map the relation, when x is negative four, y is positive three, so we'll draw a segment from negative four to positive three. When x is negative two, y is positive five, so we draw a segment from negative two to positive five. When x is one, y is nine, so we draw a segment here. And then when x is one, y is also positive three, so we draw another segment from one to three. Now the function test is to make sure every x has exactly one corresponding y value. In this form, we can easily see that the x value of positive one corresponds to two different y values. It corresponds to positive three and positive nine. Therefore, this relation is not a function. And if it's not a function, it can't be a one-to-one -one function either. So we'll go ahead and say it's not a function and move to the next relation. Next, we'll go ahead and map our second relation. Looking at the x values, notice how there's no repetition. So we have negative four, negative two, one, three. There is repetition in the y values though. The set of y values will be negative five, positive two, and zero. Now we'll map our relation. Negative four maps to negative five. Negative two maps to positive two. Positive one maps to zero and positive three maps to two. We'll first test to see if it's a function, meaning every x has exactly one corresponding y. And that is true. Notice every x value only has one segment moving toward the right. So this is a function. Now we'll see if it's a one-to-one -one function, meaning every y has exactly one corresponding x. So looking at the y values now, Notice how the y value of positive two actually has two corresponding x values. Therefore, while this is a function, it's not one-to-one. -one. This y value corresponds to the x value of negative two and the x value of positive three. So it's a function, but not one-to-one. -one. Now let's test our third relation. Notice there's no repetition in x values or y values.
So the mapping is very straightforward. Negative 2 maps to 3, negative 1 maps to 4, 0 maps to 5, and 1 maps to 8. So we'll first see if it's a function, meaning every x has exactly one corresponding y, which it does. Notice every x value only has one segment moving toward the right, so it's a function. And to test to see if it's a one-to-one -one function, we want to see if every y has exactly one corresponding x. Looking at the y values, notice each y value is only paired with one x because there's only one segment leaving each y value moving toward the left. So this is a function and it's also a one-to-one -one function. So you may have picked up on the shortcut here. If there's no repetition in the y values or the x values, then as a table, the relation would be a one-to-one -one function. But hopefully by mapping these, you have a better understanding of what it means to be a one-to-one -one function. I hope you found this helpful.